Hello there, all my friends. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. So the, here we, I have already opened this backhoe from Lesu. So we will see how this one, the oil channel inside the parts, how it's working. Yeah, let's see. So I opened this, uh, first I take out this wheel. So later we can open the screws easily. So for the, this cover, it is for the motor, the pump. So only two, two screws here and two screws from this side. After I remove, you can take out the cover. So this is the downside chassis cover. So four screws from, uh, three screws from rear side and the two screws from front. After take out, you can remove this cover. For the cabin, so each side have two screws here. Other side also have two screws. After you remove, you can take out the cabin. So now we can see all the inside. Let's see the downside. Here we got this ESC is for the pump. So it is a brushless motor. And uh, the pump taking suction from here. Here these two pipe. These two pipe are the return line from the distribution valve. So two return line. Because the valve have two separate channel for controlling front and the rear side functions. Later we will see. So this servo is changing the direction for the oil flow after coming out from the pump. From the pump. So decide two directions. One direction go to the front control. Another direction go to the rear control. So later we will see from top. That's for changing the direction to control, to switch, control forward or backward. And here it is the pressure release valve. And this one, this servo, it is for controlling the differential lock. This servo, it is the hook up, this one, controlling to lock the big arm, this hook. That's the servo controlling this one. Okay, I will turn it around, we will see. The upper part, the oil, or the distribution valve, how it's working. So we got five distribution valve block and five servos. So let's say this is uh, valve one, distribution valve, and the servo number one. So we have upper part. It is upper part, this one line is one direction. This upper part is all the oil flow goes to the rear side, the, the, the digger control. Downside, we have one row, one line of oil hose. That's for going forward for control the load bucket. So let's say this number one, it is for the small arm. And uh, downside, downside is the two holes. It is for controlling the load bucket tilting. OK, this is channel number one. So channel, the valve number two, so only controlling. Uh, it is for controlling the rear side big arm for up and down. So this valve number two, upper part controlling the rear side digger big arm. Downside two holes not controlling anything, only return to the oil system. So valve number three, number three upper part, the oil line here, it is controlling the rear side standing leg, these two legs, standing leg. So downside two holes, it is controlling the the loader big arm. Okay, so now it's coming to valve number four. Valve number four, upper part two holes, it is controlling the rear side big arm, swing to left and the right. So number four, downside two holes down there. These two holes is controlling forward the wheels steering left and the right. For valve number five, so upper part two holes, it is controlling rear side, this digger bucket rolling and tilting. So number five, downside two holes, it is controlling forward the bucket open and close, these two cylinder open and closed. So we got five valve block. So each block controlling front side and rear side. Only valve number two, it is only controlling rear side big arm. So for others, how to control forward and backward? We have switching 
the reverse well, as I said down there, there is a reverse well controlled by servo, yeah? So it change the oil go to here, the oil go to upper part or go to our underside. So controlled by the reverse well. So here, upper part, this one, it is the upper part uh, return line. This downside second hose, it is the oil inlet. So down there, we have another two holes. The upper one, it is the return line for downside oil line. And the last one, the holes down there, it is the inlet for the downside oil line. So let's, for example, for well number one, it is controlling rear side front arm and uh, forward bucket tilting. How is it controlling? So we have reverse valve. Let's say you using the reverse valve switching to control backside. So now if the oil goes to downside the inlet, go to downside oil line to control rear side. So uh, you open the valve, this servo opens the valve downside. So the oil goes to front arm to inlet outlet and change direction, so the front arm moving up and down. So in the same time, because it is only one servo controlling, so in the same time, upper part will also open and close same time with the front arm, but no oil go inside for the upper part. So no oil controlling the front loader, but the valve it is open and close same time. So uh, when you operate in the rear side, the front side you have to you have to put it down because the valve is opened, uh, no pressure inside, so it will drop. So before you operate, you first drop it down so it lays there, no moving because no oil pressure. So when you're switching the oil going to upper part oil line, so now it is controlling the pressure oil going inside upper line and controlling the front, the bucket, the loader. And uh, in the same time, Downside, the valve also open and close, but no oil go inside. So the backside, uh, the digger arm, you have to lock it when you are not operating. You lock it, put it back. So that's your, how you operate forward and backward separately, how you uh, make it working correctly. So when you're working forward, backward, you withdraw it back, secure it. When you're operating, operating rear side, Forward, you put it down and secure it, no moving. So let's see all the parts. Here it is the ESC, this one small one. This board is the ESC for this small motor for sliding the, the rear side arm, sliding left and right. Yeah. This ESC, it is for the driving motor. Driving motor, it is under there for driving backward, forward. And uh, here it is uh, on here is this corner from up position, you see that's the pressure release valve. So when pressure released, the oil going from this hose to the upper part, the first hose, first channel, it is the return line, yeah? Go return to the oil tank. And here, this servo, it is for the differential lock. This servo, it is for the lock for secure the rear arm. This servo, the rear arm here, this one. This is the servo controlling the, the lock. And uh, got two receiver, so with more plugs, this is the main receiver from channel one counting. This one is the auxiliary receiver. So after this fi channel finish, continue with this one for all the control. And uh, here we see we got the light sound board here. And, uh, we have the light, all the wires, it is inside the cabin. And this one you open, you will see there is one servo for turning this seat, yeah. The seat can rotate in to control forward, to see forward, control rear side, return to rear side to see the rear side. Okay, so that's all the, how all the parts and the oil holes, oil lines, how it's working for this backhoe from Lesu. Thank you. After you buy, if you got any questions, ask me, I will try to explain to you to make you uh, fully understand and uh, find control of this machine. Thank you very much, bye-bye.